2018 and it feels like we've been home forever. <laughs> One week's gone past, it's like, Sienna, hi. Hi. We are uh, on the road for two weeks and it felt like two years. Yeah. We've been back one week and it feels like two days so um it's nice to be home though. it's really nice to be home <laughs> it's kind of you'd think being at home would make you miss the road but a kind of all the little health hacks and what have you we've got right at our fingertips we don't have to go and hunt anything <laughs> as i said on my uh facebook account that i was going to get sienna to do how she does her recipes for falafels because if there's one thing that this little one can make it's falafels <laughs> and um <laughs> I've had a few people say that they're looking forward to it, so um, we're going to kick this off with falafels. Mm -hmm. The most expensive falafels you'll ever make. Here's how to blow the motor of a bullet. <laughs> Guys, I'm just uh, chilling out walking back in this beautiful rain. I just um, wanted to say something about comfort zones. I've been doing a bit of thinking, sort of like that toilet seat pondering kind of thinking, you know? Say if you've got money, really you should have money before you spend it, which is the norm, right? You can't spend something you don't have. Now, I think with energy, it just kind of works different. You need to spend it to have it. How many times have you done this? You, you haven't got energy to do something, say do the housework. You start doing it, suddenly you've got all this energy and you feel great and it snowballs onto other things. If you want to get energy fast, you've got to spend it first. So many people say to me, like, I don't know how you do training or how you train so much. But put it this way, say if I train once a day for an hour, intensely, I'm uncomfortable for that time, but the rest of the day is a breeze. Where other people that may avoid being uncomfortable might come to a flight of stairs and get out of breath. So you see where I'm going with this? You may be putting yourself under stress intentionally for an hour, two hours, however long you want to in a day, but it means the rest of your life becomes so much easier. You get so much more energy and um, life becomes better. The uh, pain of not eating something and the pain of not putting yourself through something is nowhere near the pleasure of being what you know you can be. So, a little bit of motivation for you. Take care, have a great weekend. Right, well, I've got to make this quick. We've got some workmen coming up. So a subject that should definitely be talked out a lot more is vitamin D or more to the point, everyone's deficiency in it. Funnily enough, a lot of the deficient people are the ones that live the most in the sun. A lot of scaremongering happens, slip, stop and slap, make sure you cover up. The problem is we're meant to have an element of exposure to the sun. Now the first thing that happens when you see the sun, so you're exposed to all the light spectrums which is in the sun, our body gets our uh, body prepares our skin and the oils in our skin for light exposure. So if you burn quite easily, chances are you filter some of those light layers out using sunglasses. So try using it without them. When you're exposed to the sun, vitamin D is actually made in the oils of your skin. So don't shower directly afterwards, otherwise you've exposed yourself to UV as well, but without any of the benefit. So the key is to never burn. When you burn, you reject the top layers of your skin, and if you're trying to tan, you're never gonna do that. Okay, you need to stay within that. I use an app called D-Miner, two sets. Right, okay, so no more workmen, and um, no more with macadamias, unfortunately. So uh, there's so much salt on them, I feel like if I was a slug, I'd be throthing up right now. Right, so the app that we use is called D-Miner. Using the powers of technology, I've screenshot it there for you. So the great thing about this is it takes in your location in the world and the UV and your skin type and basically it will come out with 
how long it is to burn, where the sun is in the air, um, all the good stuff. Something to that a lot of people don't realize is you can only create vitamin D from the sun when the sun is at 30, de 30 degree angles from the earth. So if you're going out and trying to get morning sun, evening sun, there's some elements of, of good things you can get from that, like near infrared light from morning and evening sun, but you're not going to get any vitamin D. So for example, right now, it is five past one in the evening, and um, I have vitamin D is available for the next four hours. Then after that, you're gonna have to wait until about half eight tomorrow morning. So don't be afraid of the sun. Respect it, don't fear it. It is a great tool and it's, you'll be surprised when you're vitamin D, when you're not vitamin D deficient, how much energy gets released from you and um, looks better too. Well, so for anyone that doesn't know, I um, wear these blue light blocking glasses from this uh, awesome company, Blue Blocks It. Now, um, the reason I wear these is during the day, if I'm, right now I'm working on some logo design, and when you're getting really close into um, the screen or you're just staring at it for a long time, even people that work in an office and they're looking at their screen, you're actually receiving a very high amount of blue light. Now, blue light is only present in something as the sun, which has every prism of light. Problem is, it's actually damaging for the eye when you have it so intensely. You wouldn't go staring directly at the sun, yet we'll sit at a computer screen that emits lots of it straight towards our eyes. Um, so these are great for completely blocking blue light, which means you get less eye strain and you don't damage your eyes. It's crazy for me, when I watch the computer screen, it actually makes the blacks a lot more defined, so my eyesight actually seems a lot better when I use them, which is um, obviously helpful. And um, if you're using the computer for a long time, or looking at your phone or iPad, whatever you're doing, and you've got these on, you don't have any of that eye strain. You know, when you could get bloodshot eyes, they feel a bit dry and tired, none of that happens whatsoever. Now, what they're actually good for is, um, I wear these as soon as the sun goes down. Now, have you ever had times when you, go camping and you're all yawning around the campfire, you check the time's like nine o'clock and uh, everyone wants to go to bed. But other times, usually you're at home, maybe on your phone or anything like that, it's like midnight and you're still not tired. That's because from these, from your technology, you're emitting blue light towards your eyes, which is in the sun, which triggers in your brain to release chemicals that makes you awake and alert. That's why as the sun sets, we're not meant to be receiving that blue light, which triggers our body to start shutting down and to go to sleep. I've actually done a much more in-depth video on just blue light, and I'll put the uh, link in the description of this vlog for anyone that's interested in learning more about blue light. But um, yeah, my favorite company um, that I've actually, I've made up a bit of a relationship with the people actually, because I, I posted some pictures and then they liked it and we got chatting and it's, uh, Blue Blocks here, it's incredible. These are actually really, really good quality. They've got a massive range, and um, I've got talking to them for this vlog, that if you want to actually get a pair of these, I'll also put a link in the description, and if you use the code MattCowlingEvolve, you can actually get some discount off. So um, there we go, onwards and upwards, eh? Right, I just figured out a great way of showing you the power of these bad boys. Blue book, black book, super obvious, right? I'll flip these open. Black book, black book. As you can see, no gimmicks there actually works.
So, Mama, what do you think of all this drone stuff? What's my cut think of all this drone stuff? My socks are forget me.